Cinnamon spoons that have a midnight jamboree. They break it up with English glee. Ghosts and bad, but the one that's cursed is the headless horseman. He's the worst. That's why he's a on Halloween night. But when he goes to jogging across the land, holding his noggin in his hand, demons take one look and groan in a hip. What's up? Inflatable Enthusiast here, and today's review is on the new for 2021, seven foot tall, animated light show, Horsemen with Tombstone. This inflatable is awesome. This is, um, this was definitely one of my most wanted inflatables for this year, because, uh, it's, everything about it is great. I'll get more into it when I, uh, get it out of the box, but, uh, Rob over, over on uh, Making Spirits Bright just made a video about this a few days ago. Great review. And that was that was the video that made me decide to buy this. As soon as I was already contemplating buying it, but um, as soon as I saw that video and saw like the fan and just like how the inflatable looked and stuff like that, I had to have it. And this inflatable is outstanding. And it is definitely one of my new favorite Halloween inflatables. Sorry about the voice cracks, Jesus Christ. Um, so yeah, it just comes in a plain white box. There's nothing on it besides the front and the back. And the back just says, um, it doesn't say the date or anything, but it says, uh, contains six base stakes, four tether stakes and ropes, one air bowl inflatable, and one extra fuse, which is nice because Jemmy actually doesn't usually uh, include uh, extra fuses anymore or lights, so that's great. Um, anyways, yeah, I'm super excited to see how this looks, so let's unbox it. So, yeah, this, like I said, this is one of my most wanted Halloween, and, okay. Uh, the box is sideways, so let me just get this out. Yeah, so this is, um, one of my most wanted Halloween inflatables this year. My most wanted one was obviously the 18-foot jack. Another fantastic inflatable from this year. Oh, crap, I ripped the box. Oops. So, uh, yeah, I'm super excited for this. I know I can keep saying that, but everything about this inflatable is just awesome. And you can already see here the mixed media fabric instructions. Um, now, yep, stakes are actually on the side of the box instead of, like, in the bag with the inflatable, which is fine. So, as it said on the back of the box, four base stakes, four tethers, and four normal plastic stakes. Okay. Oops. Coming up sideways. Okay. Alright. So, I already know what type of fan this has. That is by far one of the best parts about this inflatable but let's just look at it anyways. And I like how the zipper is kind of like on the side so it's not blocked by one of the, actually no, it kind of is. Hold on, I gotta get this clip off. All right. A YEF 200. Oh yes. I think this is the only YEF 200 inflatable from this year. Correct me if I'm wrong, but awesome, awesome, awesome fan. The size of this inflatable is not huge, obviously, but so it doesn't need a YEF 200, but I'm not complaining at all. This is the best fan you could put on an inflatable, and I'm so happy they put it on this. So yeah, I think the only other inflatable I own with a YEF 200 is the animated Snoopy plane. That's it. That's the only inflatable with a YF-200 I have. So, yeah, this should inflate. Fantastic. So, let's see it. Alright, let's plug in this bad boy. I cannot wait to see how fast it inflates. Holy crap. Jesus, that was fast. <laughs> my god. I thought it was going to fly away. Well, here it is. Oh, uh, I got to fix this. All right, I just had to fix, like, the, uh, the rain or whatever it's called right there. It was kind of, like, wrapped around. 
it is still a little wrapped around right here i don't really know what to do about that it's not tugging on it or anything so it should be fine and it, it looks fine anyways so yeah so here it is this design is just incredible it is so cool i love the animated head on the horse uh it's obviously broad daylight so you're not really going to see the um the kaleidoscope and the the pumpkin head but i will do a night view on it yeah incredible design it just looks so cool it has the uh the sparkly kind of like confetti material on his gloves his uh chest plate i guess his boots the horse's mane whatever that is the, the scarf actually no this is the mane i think i don't know i might Correct me if I'm wrong again. I know a mane is on a lion, but I don't know what to call it. I bet my sister would know. She uh, she rides horses. And then the horse's tail too. It has the the fuzzy purple material. It's a little skull down there, which is awesome. Two headstones. And yeah, that's about it. It also kind of has like a a slightly sparkly design on the cape doesn't really pick it up that well in the video but it looks a little it's kind of like a velvet well it's not like a velvet material but just like the color it kind of has a shine to it yeah this this inflatable is awesome it is a little smaller than i thought it would be but that again like i said in the um the oogie boogie video when you have a design this good i don't think the size will matter at all because this design is outstanding. I thought this would be a different material here, but it's just um, just like printed on, and that's fine. It looks great. So yeah, awesome design. Nothing I would change about this. It is great. Well, actually, there are two things I would change. <laughs> Obviously, I I'm a reviewer. I'm not doing my job right if I don't criticize at least something. So the eyes on the skull, I know Rob said this. I wish those lit up too. They put two green LEDs. That would be great, but again, no big deal. It has a C7 in it, so it doesn't really matter that much to me. And two, I would give the Headless Horseman a sword in his hand. That would complete this inflatable, and that would be outstanding. But that doesn't mean it's not good, because this inflatable is still fantastic. Um, yeah, the sparkly material... I've only ever seen this material on two other inflatables. I know more inflatables have it, but um, two other inflatables I own. Well, I don't own them. They're actually my grandparents' inflatables. It's a, uh, a Santa and a snowman. They're very, very old. I know Jemmy made them, but I'm not sure what year they came out. I might do a review on them. I think I'll ask my grandparents if I could borrow them for a review or not. They, pro they might say no. I don't know. But they have, the snowman is completely covered in this fuzzy material. Obviously, it's it's white. And then the Santa, his coat has that material too. But um, that's the only other inflatables I've seen this on. Obviously, I'm still new to this, so there's, prob there's definitely, I know there's more inflatables that have it on them. But those are the only ones I've seen. So the horse's animation looks great. The face on the horse looks great as well. Fix that a little bit. There we go. And then um, the headstones look good too. There's actually a huge gap right here for the fan to get air. Doesn't matter that much. You're not going to see the back anyways. This inflates extremely tight. Really, really tight. Obviously because of the YEF 200. So it inflates fantastic. Even up here by the Headless Horseman, great inflation. Even the horse's legs are just great. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if this sold out. It's not sold out now at the time of me making this video, but I guarantee it will be sold out by the end of this week. Because obviously kaleidoscope in the head bunch of lights we'll see that later though yef 200 the different materials 
I don't know how this can't sell out. It's it's just great. So yeah, here's also the uh, kaleidoscope on the back of his head. Right there. And it has four tether loops, two on either side of this big headstone, and two on either side of like the, the dirt, I guess. And yeah, that's about it. So let's see what it looks like at night. Okay, so here it is at night. And this thing lights up fantastic. That kaleidoscope looks amazing. It's more red in real life than it is on the camera. It's like a reddish orange. The camera makes it really, really bright, but it looks better in real life. So yeah, it lights up really good. So I got this off of walmart.com. It's an online exclusive for $129.99, which is a fantastic price for this inflatable. Obviously it's not very big, but you're getting a YEF 200, a kaleidoscope, fuzzy material, and an animated head for the, the horse. And I know the camera angle is kind of stupid. I'm just trying not to give away some of my display. You probably saw the 18 foot jack already, but it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, that's about it for this guy though. It has um, 67s in it, inclu uh, not including the kaleidoscope because that's not a C7. So one in this tombstone, another one in here, another one in the skull, one in the body of the horse, one in the head of the horse, and then one in the body of the headless horseman. And then obviously you have the kaleidoscope in the head. So yeah, really, really good lighting in this guy. I, they really couldn't put lights anywhere else. His hands, obviously, they wouldn't be able to do that. So yeah, this inflatable, fantastic. Uh, 10 out of 10. Definitely buy this if you really, really want to. Because I wouldn't be surprised if they sell out by the end of the season. So anyways, that's it. I'm the Inflatable Enthusiast, and I'll see you guys next time.